today I'm going to have a really special topic um, we're going to talk about drug muggers. So I've got this book. Um, I didn't bring it. In. Oh, yeah, I did bring it with me. I'll pop it up here later. I was reading this book and thought uh, this would be a great topic because I was reading about vitamins and supplements and nutrition. And I came up with some really interesting things about how um, our vitamins play such an important role in our life. So if you suffer from gluten intolerance or um, insomnia, heart palpitations, anything like that, and you're thinking, why is this happening to me? Well, today's live might answer some of your questions. So what we're going to talk about today are the top five medications that I see in my office and what vitamins are being depleted and then what are some of the complications of um, these vitamins being depleted. So as most of you know, vitamins are so important to our life, basically. There are energy, there are nutrition, there are what fuels us. That's what keeps us going. So if you think of vitamins, not just you know vitamins, but nutrition in our food too, vitamins A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it's like gasoline in our tank. So the more gas you put in, the longer you can go. Or it's like a bank account. The more money you store up over time, then you can take a little bit out as needed, you know, things like that. Nutrition keeps, um, for anybody that does, um, studies methylation. So important for our, for our enzymes to go from one to the next, to the next, to the next. So the MTHFR, it does not function without you know being supplied with folate. <clears throat> if there's a blockage there, B12 won't be used. So vitamins play, play such an important role in um, the function of our life that I wanted to kind of talk to you about medications that we take and <clears throat> what vitamins might be being depleted by taking these medications. So the number one is the antibiotics. I don't know probably hardly anybody that's never been on an antibiotic, but here's the vitamins that are depleted if you take antibiotics. B vitamins, very important. Calcium, magnesium, iron, and then of course beneficial um, bacteria. That's the one you hear about most is that if you're on an antibiotic, take a probiotic. But did you know about the B vitamins and the calcium and the magnesium? So some of the complications from taking um, antibiotics for a long time and depleting your body of these vitamins would be low thyroid, heart disease, high homocysteine, fatigue, candida. Candida is kind of a, another one we hear a lot about um, that is associated with taking a lot of antibiotics. Um, increased risk of cancer, um, irritable bowel syndrome, leg cramps. There's that magnesium component, high blood pressure, um, bone loss, and then girls, weight gain. <laughs> um, so if you haven't been, if you've been gaining weight, and you don't know why, maybe here's some antibiotics. So the second most common drug I see in the office is acid blockers. So these are the ones um, for the reflux and things like that. This is a shocking one. The um, nutrients that are depleted with um, acid blockers, all of them. It, the pH changes in our stomach. So therefore the um, nutrients cannot get absorbed. So all the nutrients um, can be depleted because of this. Um, number three, anxiety meds. That can lead to um, a depletion in melatonin. So if you're not sleeping, you know, you might know why. Um, and so insomnia, heart palpitations again, uh, lower immunity. So if you find yourself getting sick a lot, um, increased risk of autoimmune disorders, okay? So number four are the breathing medications. So like uh, Flonase is an example. The decrease, um, the vitamins are depleted with that is folic acid, um, most minerals, and iodine. So this can lead to um, hypothyroidism, depression, hair loss, another weight gain, um, and also another lowered immunity. The um, final one, the fifth one, um, got my nails done yesterday, so. <laughs> and, that's, and, and I don't even know how to say it, and, um, ibuprofen. So ibuprofen and prolonged use can um, lead to vitamin C deficiency, folic acid, and iron. So this can lead to um, complications of um, those vitamins when they're decreased in your body, can lead to heart disease, um, high homocysteine, um, cervical dysplasia, um, a higher risk of cancer, some birth defects, um, depression, diarrhea, gray hair, um, mouth sores, anemia, um, frequent infections, and hypothyroidism. So if you have been taking these medications for a long time, there is a possibility that you are depleted in these vitamins. I'm going to post a link 
below for um, a printout of what I've talked about today. I want to make a, also a note about vitamins too, is you've got to make sure you're getting good vitamins. So in my reading, I found out that, and this infuriated me because when I first started taking vitamins, I took Metagenics and Metagenics, you have to take six capsules a day and they're like horse pills. They're huge. So as I'm reading about taking vitamins, they say, if you're taking a one a day by a multivitamin, um, there's no way you're getting enough nutrients. You have to be taking vitamins throughout the whole day and they have to be really good quality ones to really get the, the vitamins out of the medicate or out of the supplement. So on the top of our page too, we have a link to our full script account, which is um, our online dispensary. All the um, supplements in there are good quality. They're um, the ones that doctors usually um, offer in their offices. You can get good quality vitamins through there versus going through Amazon, okay? So I hope you enjoyed our drug mugger. I'm gonna throw pop this book up, this book. It's written by a pharmacist, um, Susie Cohen. It's a really, really good book. It's very informative. If you want to know some more information about this, I read this all the time. It helps me with my patients, but it, I think it's a great resource to put in your um, library. So hope everybody has a great day. Make sure you're taking your vitamins with the coronavirus out there. We want to keep our immune system strong. I pray that we don't get any in the area, but please stay away from sugar, get your supplements, rest, get adjusted, get your immune system boosted so that if a virus comes wrong, you can fight it. So have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.